Let's take a quick look at the SRPC49. Um, it's being called a bunch of different things. I think I'm gonna stick with the Ninja Turtle. I've heard Darth Turtle, um, Black Series, there's a bunch of different things, but I'm gonna just stick with Ninja Turtle, I guess. So this is the hang tag for it here. Comes in a very cool box. Black, kind of a soft feel to it with an orange trim. And it has a, some limited edition writing on the inside there and it has a orange section there we cut out for the black pillow that goes in there. So back to the watch. Very nice coating on this. And it's a little unique for me to see this on a turtle where it has the, it's a little more matted finish, you know, where it would normally be brushed on the regular model and then a polished look where it would be polished on the other model. So pretty cool that they kept with the same type of finishing just with a coating on it. And then the, let's see if we can zoom in here, the indices there. I don't know if you could call that, is that patina I guess? But it, I don't know, it just has a creamy look to it. So I don't know if it's, I don't know what you guys think. So I found this um, from a guy on Instagram, and he's actually a, a viewer of the channel. His Instagram is when time is now, uh, you know, all one word. And he posted one a picture of this up, and I think he had a few of them. He's just a uh, Seiko nut like the rest of us, so he bought a few, and he, he sold me one, thankfully, and he shipped it right away really quick. Um, his username on Watch You Seek is Top Hot Dog. All, all one word and he was also nice enough to send me some Seiko swag he sent me this cool microfiber Seiko cloth this little portable um, umbrella that's I can't open it up in here but it, it says Seiko on it and then some other stuff so I didn't open it up yet all the way but that's really cool and then there's this Prospects cooling towel. See, we don't get all this stuff here, as far as I know. I haven't been to a Seiko boutique, so. But pretty cool stuff. Big thanks to him for sending that extra stuff. It was awesome. I'm a little disappointed to, um, you know, in my searching of this particular model, though, I cannot find out how many are produced. And there's another part number two. I forget the other one. So I don't know if there's two different part numbers floating out there for this or what. I, the only place I found mention of how many were made, um, I'll see if I can put the link in the description if I can find it again, is a mention of 300 made. Now if that's true, that's crazy. Uh, that's a really low number for Seiko to do a limited run on. Um, so I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. If, if you guys know any more about it, you know, let me know down in the description. But, I mean, standard turtle affair here, everything is basically turtle, so. And I really was never a huge fan of the turtle, but recently with this model and then the gold model, I think I'm being drawn to the oddball ones. So, pretty fun stuff. Getting some cool models so far in 2018 for the Seiko lineup. Then just for kicks, why don't we, again, this is just a quick look at it, so there's something else you want to see but we'll show you the case back too it does say limited edition right on there and then I don't know if the serial number means anything 7d9053 if you guys know how to decipher those let's try to figure it out maybe but I, I want to show you the loom because it does have you know the indices are a little bit different looking Anyway, there's a quick look at it. See you in the next vid.